for this. You're listening to the Chronicles of Living podcast, where we talk to everyday people about everyday things in the past, present, and future. Now let's talk. Now understand this, sometimes, well no, all the time, there's always room for improvement in your life, in every area of your life, as a matter of fact. And as you're making those improvements, just continue to check and see if when you're making them, are you honoring yourself first? Or are you making these changes for someone else? Because if you're making the changes for someone else, you're not honoring yourself. And let me just give you a little note. To, this is pre-recorded today. Y'all know I usually don't do that. But I have a crazy schedule ahead of me today. And I thought about it and I said last Sunday's podcast show was not in order. And I really need, I owe it to y'all to probably re-record that show at some time. But then again, some some of you might get something out of it, but it was a low recording. I'll at least bring it down, turn it up if you listen to it already. But nevertheless, I have a lot going on right now. And I want to tell y'all everything, but I really believe that I need to wait just a little bit longer. But it's all good. It's all exciting things. Um, big changes ahead. 
huge changes ahead for me, for the show, for you guys. Um, I've been talking about a whole lot of different things as to the things that, uh, the goals and the visions that I have for Chronicles of Living podcast, the, the blog, and of course, the Visionary Dreamers, um, different courses that I'll be offering. And I already do one-on-one um, consulting, but I'm going to be in position where I could do more of that to reach out to more of you guys out there that need my help to get your goals, your visions, and your dreams off. And um, so that's what I'm working towards right now. Um, there's been a lot of shifts in my life. And like I said, all good. I'll share this with you. I feel like um, I have received the healing and the cleansing that I need to move forward in my life from the retreat center, from the meditation and retreat center, in which I so appreciate everybody there and love all everybody that I met. Um, it was a great experience for me. Even um, the services that I was able to provide in return, I learned so much from the events, um, from putting together and coordinating the, co coordinating the events and from the video production, the AV, you know, all of that whole department and people. But um, in honoring yourself, you have to know, and this is not a bad thing, but you have to know when it's time to go when it's time for your journey to move forward you know you you can't be afraid of what's ahead of you especially when what's ahead of you really has a heavy heaviness to your heart you know so when i say honor yourself you honor all within you that means your mind body soul your spirit your purpose in life you know, everything that God has placed on you and within you, you need to honor. You need to honor your intuition as to listening and feeling when it's time to go, when it's time to let go, whether it be people, things, um, situation. You have to know and honor yourself and let go and just move on when it's time. Whether it's a good reason or a bad reason. You know, my reason is a good reason. Thank God. <laughs> For the first time in a long time. But nevertheless, I can, you know, I'll tell you more about the move and what I'm going to be doing and all of those things soon. But I'm just, you know, working things out. And so last week I was kind of all over the place because I literally was in the midst of moving and um, traveling. So I had to stop to do the show and yeah, I, I did plan to make it come out smoother. But nevertheless, like I said, I'm not going to say that because everybody gets a message from a message. You know, some people get a message from this show, will get a message from this show, some from my 50th show, some from my 80th show, you know, I just come on here, I pray before I come on here that I touch hearts, that I move spirits, that I motivate you guys, encourage you guys to move forward into whatever the topic is and whatever topic you tap on to listen to, obviously is for you at that time in your life. It is not by coincidence that you, that that certain topic might have grabbed you and made you click on it, made you download it. It was for you. So regardless if maybe I might have felt like, oh, a show is rushed or um, I wasn't prepared for a show or whatever, because God placed that topic on my heart for that day and you chose to play it or to download it, it served its purpose. So this is what I'm saying about the different ways of honoring yourself. You know, one way is to never second guess yourself, never doubt yourself, never allow somebody to come in your life to cause you to doubt yourself. 
And sometimes it could be an unconscious way of you starting to doubt yourself and you don't even realize it until one day you hit it, something hits you and you're like, hey, wait a minute now. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm not going to doubt myself on this. I'm not going to second guess myself on this. This is my path. This is my journey. You're not in my brain. You're not in my spirit, my soul. So you don't know what it is that I am assigned to do in my life at this in this time, space, and reality. Everybody has their path. Everybody has their assignments, their purpose in life. And sometimes you could come across people that really might mean good. They might just mean good. But what they say to you is not good. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So um, I'll give you an example. Okay, so I came across this person that heard my podcast show, um, just listened to a couple of them, never really listened to a podcast show. They don't really know much about podcast shows and stuff like that, and then decided to tell me that, oh, well, you know, you need to work on some things and maybe you need to just take the podcast down for a little bit. I'm like, what? Yo, I worked hard to get to this point. And on top of that, this person didn't know my journey as to how I got to this point. You don't know nothing about podcasting. You've never heard a podcast show, not on a regular like that. So you don't understand what a podcast is and what um, it is supposed to do. So to my listeners out there, especially my faithful listeners, you know that, and if you ever listen to other podcast shows, you know there's a difference. You have your news podcast shows, you have your comedy podcast shows, you have your just straight talk like me or self-awareness podcast shows like I give, you know, self-help, self-awareness, um, guidance, real talk podcast shows. You have your, you know, uh, what is it? Uh, TV or movie capture podcast shows. There are so many different motivational podcast shows, which is, this is somewhat a motivational podcast show as well. But my niche is to transform, help you to re regenerate your life. That is my purpose with my podcast show. And in doing that, I'm sharing the things that I've went through in life because it has been a real roller coaster, a real bumpy ride for me. But the fact that God has placed the grace on my life to navigate through my storms and through my obstacles and my struggles and, and come out without sm the smell of smoke on me, as they say in the Bible where they went in the fire and you, you couldn't even smell it. You couldn't smell nothing on them. They just came out basically how they came, how they went in, you know, the fire. So that is me. That is, you know, like I've worked through so many things in my life and me going to and working for the Institute, um, the retreat center and spending that time there, spending that, I think, what, maybe seven months there has healed and cleaned up the other parts of me that I wasn't able to do on my own. And again, before I went there, that was a big part of me honoring myself, overstanding that, okay, I'm not quite there yet. I've been through a whole lot in a short amount of time and I need some extra healing. I need some extra cleansing. I need to make sure that I have removed all the baggage, all the unforgiveness, all the doubt, all the things that's not benefiting me and not benefiting my purpose in life from my heart, from my mind, my body, my soul, and my spirit. So because, you know, my kids were straight, you know, daughter got her place, you know, she's doing good. My son in college, um, I'm like, okay, I can, I can leave and I can go out here, out yonder, 
all in the boomy docks <laughs> where I couldn't get any phone reception for I don't know how long. <laughs> and just do me. Just do me. And that is really what happened because I was in an area that there was no, the phone reception wasn't so great. It was kind of like it was God's way of allowing me to honor myself, to heal myself, to reboot and to recharge my batteries and to acknowledge who I am, the gifts that I have, the things that I have to offer the world, you know? And in doing that, I continue to do the show. And therefore, if you've been listening from the beginning, you, I'm sure, have heard the difference. Rather be in my voice, rather be in my tone, rather be in the, the words that I use. You have heard, you you hear the growth. I hear the growth, you know, when I listen back at past shows. And this is why, to me, it's very important to do what it is that God put on your heart to do, even when you're not sure. Even when you feel like, you know, everything is not in position, um, I don't have all my tools, you work with what you have for that time. And you let and allow things to come and fall into place as you move forward. And trust me, as you move forward, because God, the universe, see that you are putting your best foot forward and your best effort, the universe will just embrace you and send you the things that you need for your improvement, for, you know, you to flourish even more. That's what will happen. But you have to move first. You have to believe in you first. You have to get away from the noise and get away from the doubters, the people that place doubt in your heart, that place uh, make you second guess yourself because they want things a certain way. They believe things are supposed to be a certain way. Sometimes people that have things going on for themselves forget their start. They forget that they fumbled in the beginning. They forget that it was a learning process for them in the beginning. You know, they forget that some of the things that they did in the beginning was not so great, you know, and then they want to offer so-called advice or maybe dictate to you as to what you need to do or how you need to do it. And sometimes it's not beneficial to you. So that's where you need to step in and ask yourself, is this beneficial to me? Is this beneficial to what I'm doing? Or is it that this person is not feeling what I'm doing the way I feel what I'm doing and the fact that they can't even under overstand it because they're not me. They don't hear what God put on my heart or your heart. I'm saying this in general. I'm talking in general, you know. So therefore, they impose on you their beliefs. And sometimes other people's beliefs are not should not ever become your belief for yourself or for your purpose and your dreams. This is where, you know, we can get a little lost. We can get a little tricky, especially if we respect certain people and certain people give you advice. And then you, sometimes you might decide to take that advice. And then once you get down the road, you realize, you know what? I made a bad mistake. I shouldn't have took that advice. The the path that I was walking on was good for me. So this is where you got to honor yourself and really trust your intuition and the feeling that you have when you start changing things because of other people's thoughts, other people's um, suggestions and things of that nature. Now, don't get me wrong. You, We need feedback. We always need feedback in order to know what's working, what's not working, you know, we need feedback. And I constantly get feedback, you know, from 
my listeners through emails, through inboxes, through phone calls. And I discern what is beneficial for the show. What is beneficial for me in this niche of the show, you know, this niche of a show. I'll say it that way. You know, because if you've been following, you know that I said in the beginning, I went through the whole, oh, I got to interview people and, and, and I do interview people from time to time, but I interview people as my spirit is led to, and I will ask certain people. And if they're not ready, I'm not going to impose on those people. You know, I just believe that, um, you have to move the way you need to move. And my purpose for the show, the purpose for the show is not a bunch of interviews. The purpose for the show is just to keep it all the way real, just some real conversation, just just hearing me on the other end and showing you another angle, another way to look at your struggles, to look at your obstacles, to know that I am a person that has moved over 20 might be 30 something times in my life and now this is another move for me you know in a six to seven month period but it's a good move you know it's it's a move forward to the next chapter in my life now I'm ready to do a lot of the things that I've been writing down in my journal um because I am whole I feel whole now I'm cleansed now. I'm not, I'm strong enough to not allow other people to impose and throw their baggage on me. You know, I used to do that in the past. I used to take on people's issues, people baggage. See, there's a way that you can honor yourself and you can still be there for other people. You can still be an encourager. You can still be a motivator or just a comfort um, friend. There is a way. And that is what I had to learn. That is the reason why I felt the need to go to the retreat center to get some healing while I was still, you know, working in the fields that I love. So I I received so much. I sharpened my skills, my video editing skills, my, you know, my event planning skills. I sharpened a lot of skills that I already had on top of receiving the healing that I needed. I mean, that's like a win-win. And they received from me the services that I was able to provide while I was there. That's a win-win all around the board. And those are the positions, if you have to move in your life, that's the move you want to make. Especially when you know you got a lot going on. A lot of things just have not been going your way. Sometimes, God, not sometimes, but when you got a lot going on, a domino effect, that's God talking to you. Not trying, because you know we don't use that word try. But that is God talking to you, saying, stop, sit still, listen, go inward, think about who you are, not think about, but remember who you are and remember whose you are and remember who really will be there for you no matter what. See, because people will let you down, you know, we, I tell my son this all the time, don't trust nobody. And some people might think that's wrong, but no, don't trust nobody. Don't trust nothing. Always research, observe, listen to what people say, listen to what people do. That will tell you a lot about who they are, you know, and there are some great people out here that can come off in a wrong way because of the fact that they have not deal with their internal issues so therefore it'll come out and it kind of like vomit on you (laughs) and if you're not careful you might be caught out there without a a towel or something to wipe it off You, you get what I'm saying so you know I say all that to say that 
you really have to honor yourself. You have to be in tune with who you are so that you can know when you come across a situation, when you come across a person or, you know, a thing that is not beneficial to you, you will know that, you know what, um, I think I need to let this go or I think that this is not for me or, you know, um, this job is not for me, this person is not for me. You will know. You get what I'm saying? You got to honor yourself by setting boundaries. Set boundaries with people. I have, you know, one of my visionary dreamers, um, a sweet person, and he always tells me how, you know, he feels like people just, just eat up his energy because they always want him to talk to them or whatever or help them out in some type of way. And I had to tell him, and um, quite often, you have to set boundaries. You have to set boundaries. If you, didn't, if you don't set boundaries with people, people will run all over you. People will, they will. They will drain the energy out of you real quick. You'll be walking around looking like a raisin, a prune. <laughs> Trust me, I've been there where I almost looked like a California raisin because I was letting people just suck the energy out of me. You know what I mean? So this is how I know what boundaries are, what investing in me time is. You know, you got to invest in yourself. You got to invest in your me time. You have to take care of your health, of your mind, of your body, your soul, and your spirit. You have to really be mindful that when your life is unbalanced, check, double check. What is it? Why is my life unbalanced right now? What is it that I need to pay more attention to? That is why our life becomes unbalanced because there is something that's that you need to pay more attention to. And so when you honor yourself and you take the time out for yourself and you acknowledge that, you know what, something is not right. That's when you will hear your intuition kick in and say, listen, you need to go to the doctor. Something is not right. You need to take care of yourself better. You need to start exercising more so that you can have more energy. You need to stop eating a certain food so that it won't affect your health. You need to slow up on the salt or you need to slow up on the sweets. You know, you need to cut this person out of your life. They're toxic. You need to, you know, seek out people that challenge you. Seek out new friends that will help you to grow to the next level. These are the things that if you take the time to quiet your mind, to meditate, and to do your breath exercise, you will hear your intuition speak to you loud and clearly, even though you're taking your quiet time. I did a long meditation this morning. Um, I, I needed this meditation this morning. It's been a lot of moving parts in this last, say, two weeks. So I had to take that time out to honor myself because I've been moving so much. I mean, not moving like as in, you know, driving, but moving as to this movement, getting things in order and my new place and all of this stuff that... um I had to take some time out to just sit quiet and breathe and meditate and reflect so that I could have clarity even before I came on here. So right now it's like eight something in the morning. You know, I'm recording this because I'm about to head out right after I finish the show and I have long distance, a good five hour ride ahead of me. So I don't want to pull over or just get caught up today and give you a booty show. <laughs> I 
I owe it to you guys to be on point. And this is episode 86. I know it's 30 minutes, but I'm going over today. This is episode 86, y'all. And had I not honored myself and my purpose and listened to someone in the past, you know, a few shows back that tried to tell me that I need to take the show down for a minute so I could work on some things, I wouldn't be talking to you right now. You wouldn't be receiving this message right now for those who resonate with this message. If I would have not honored myself, not honored my purpose and stuck to what I know is right, what I know spirit led me to do and took that person's advice that really doesn't have any real clue about what a podcast is, you know. Because that person has more going for themselves. If I would have looked at the shiny penny like, well, they got more things going on for themselves. They're more established. Maybe they know what they're talking about. I've done a lot of things throughout my life too and accomplished a lot of goals and visions and things of that nature in which this person is not totally aware of. This person doesn't totally know who I am and my real capabilities. So they're judging from just a little quarter of it. And so if I wouldn't have took the time to clear out the baggage, to clear out the self-doubt, to clear out the things that was not benefiting me, maybe I would have fell for that. But because I took that me time out in my life, and I moved and I let go of everything, my furniture, my just everything to go move into that institute in the retreat center so that I can heal myself. So that I can realize and come back to me and, and realize what it is that I have to offer the world. If I wouldn't have took that time out, I might have fell for that. And I might have let the show go, as I have in the past. In the past, I allowed certain people to come in my life that I thought was doing better than me and tell me, oh, well, or make me feel, not tell me, but make me feel that what I got going on is not perfect enough and it's not ready. So I was started and stop it, you know. No, no more. This show has been going on. This is the 86th episode. I owe it to you to continue because that's what the show is about. The show is about showing you that you start where you are. You believe in yourself. You go inward. Believe in your dreams, your goals, and your visions. Believe in the impossible. Know that if God showed you something, if God gave you a vision and a dream, That is yours. No one can take it from you but you. You're the only one that can get in your way. You're the only one that can fumble. It doesn't matter how you start. It's just start. You just start. That's all it is. Start. You might be fearful. You might think that people are going to laugh or People are not going to come to your show or listen to your show or watch your video. You might be there. But at some point, you got to get over that and let that go and do it for you. I did this podcast in the beginning to know, look, it doesn't matter. I might not be in position to have this crazy advertisement budget to to promote this thing, but I'm going to do what I can do with the time that I have. And I'm going to allow the universe to bring the listeners to the show. And that's what I've done. I believe I wrote it in my journal. I said that this podcast show is going to touch people all across the world. And that is what the stats are showing me. It doesn't matter if it's in the millions, if it's in the thousands and stuff like that. That doesn't matter right now. What matters is that it's happening. So therefore, 
It can only get better. It can only grow. As long as I continue to grow, as long as I continue to believe, as long as I continue to honor myself, my purpose, my vision, my dreams, my assignments with dignity, you know, with integrity, with great and positive intentions, with perseverance. That is what we have to get to. That is what you have to make up in your mind that you're going to do. Whatever it is, rather it be, look, I want to have a better relationship with my kids. I want to have a better relationship with my spouse, with my mom, my dad. You know, I want to do better on my job or I want to do better at my career. All of these things, you can do it. It can happen for you. But you have to first honor yourself. You have to first know who you are. Know that you are capable of doing whatever it is that God put on your heart to do. Stay away from the dream killers. Demand respect for yourself. Demand respect for yourself. You don't have to do that in a violent way. What I'm saying is demand respect. When you set boundaries, you're demanding respect for yourself. When people come at you and talk at you a certain way, you make sure you stop them right then and there and you let them know that is not acceptable. And I'm going to excuse myself or I'm going to talk to you later when you decide that you can talk to me with respect, you know? That's what you have to do. Don't let nobody talk down to you. Don't ever do that. Don't let nobody change who you are. Do not change who you are unless you know in your heart is for the better. And don't change yourself for somebody. Change yourself for yourself. That's it. If you overweight and you want to change yourself or you want to lose weight, make sure you're not losing weight for your man, for your woman, but you lose a weight for your health, for you to better your health. That's what it's about. Because at the moment we start changing ourselves to appease people, you lose who you are. You lose yourself because if you change yourself for one person, you're going to change yourself for the next person, for the next person. Next thing you know, you're not even going to be you anymore. You're going to be a product of all of those people and what they wanted you to be. And then when the day comes that those people move on from your life, what are you left with? A person that you don't even know. So I'm saying to you, honor yourself, honor your purpose in life, honor your gifts, your dreams, honor what God gave you. And make the best of it with what you have. Don't look at your situation now. Don't look at what you got going on in your life. I had a lot going on in my life through this time of starting this podcast from last year in August to now. Oh my gosh, I've moved, what, three times? Yeah, from from my apartment to to the place, to the retreat center, and now to my new place. That's three times since September 1st. Physically moved, okay? Stuck and all. <laughs> Let go of furniture. Now I got to get new furniture. You know, it's, it's like, but I continually come and do this show no matter what. Yes, I have missed it on my birthday, <laughs> but that's rightfully showed, so y'all. And I didn't come on on uh, Easter. Because I was traveling and I was spending time with my son. But other than that, y'all would never know if I didn't tell y'all the things that were going on in my life. You know, I didn't allow the struggles and the transformations that I was going through to affect this purpose, this gift that God gave me, this assignment that God gave me to do for you. For you guys, this is what I have to offer the world. Just talking. While some people might be like, oh, that's not a talent or she talked too much or whatever. 
others may be saying, I really need to hear a Dion talk to me and coach me through the situation and help me to see another way, another part of the light that I'm going to be okay. Some of you guys might need to hear my voice for that day. You know, you might need to hear a couple of the shows for that day you're going through. And that's okay. It's okay for you to listen to one of my shows over and over until you get it. If that show resonates with you and helps you through, that's what I'm here for. That is what this platform is for. And I'm so grateful to God that he allowed the show to be accepted for to over a good 12 different platforms now. So obviously, I'm doing something right. <laughs> you know, because you have to be accepted to the platforms in order to get on them. So, yeah. Anywho, I'm going to go now. And I pray that you got a lot out of the show. To those who tune in when I'm live, I apologize that today this is pre-recorded. But I really didn't want to rush today. And I wanted to give you a real chill show. And I just wanted to speak life into you today um, while I wasn't all over the place. <laughs> As I am most of the time. So I just love you guys. And I love doing the show. And when you, you know your purpose when you don't care if you're not making money from it. But you do it anyway. That's when you know. That's your purpose in life. The money will come. You don't worry about that. It will come. You just do your best. Do the damn thing the best way you can. Utilize what you got at your disposal and get started. That's all. Get started. And everything else will come. Everything else will fall into place in God's perfect timing when God know that you are ready to receive. And the big thing is, open your heart to receive. Allow yourself to receive. That is a big problem with a lot of us. We don't know how to receive. We don't know how to receive good things because we've had so many bad things happen to us. Trust me. Say to yourself, I allow myself to receive abundance, good things, Money, large amounts of money, good people in my life, you know, new talents and gifts. Say that to yourself as much as you can. Allow yourself and watch, watch God. So until Wednesday, I will talk to you guys then. I love y'all. Y'all want to get in touch with me, email me at Adion, your dream pusher at gmail.com or inbox me on Facebook um, at Adion, your dream pusher, Facebook. And um, I will talk to y'all then. Continue to share the show, download. I thank y'all so much for all of y'all support. Y'all are the reason that I come on here every week and I look forward to it and I work through whatever I got going on. And just to show you, you can do it too. You can work through whatever you got going on and continue to follow through on your dreams, visions, and goals. Honor yourself, y'all. Honor yourself. Love you guys. Peace. Thank you for listening to Chronicles of Living, where we talk to everyday people, about everyday things in the past, present, and future. And if you are pursuing your dreams, I'm proud of you. Because the best part of life is when you decide to live. To keep up with us, please visit chroniclesofliving.com. Until next time, this is Adion, your dream pusher. I love you guys.